Hey everyone, it's me, author Julian Greystoke. I'm the author of The Wolf and the Hawk, a fantasy romance that you can check out on Amazon right now. But this tag that we're doing today isn't about what I've written in the past. This is about the now. I never look back, darling. It distracts from the now. Today we're going to be looking at what I am currently working on. And many of you may have already figured out that that is the sequel to The Wolf and the Hawk, going under the working title Dragonfly. It stars one of the daughters of the main couple in The Wolf and the Hawk. And actually, I just kind of answered the first question with that. That's The first question is, what are you working on? And that's what I am working on. The next question is, what's your current word count? I've been working on it using my new writing companion, Guilty Spark, here. So I'm going to have to boot him up to find out what my word count is. I do not keep track of a word count. I just don't find that helpful for my process. So this particular answer is a little bit moot because when I was filming this, I was still working on the first draft, but I have since finished the first draft just a couple of days ago as of editing. But you know, you know how fast it goes when you're a writer and you're writing every day at least as much as you can. So, you know, you get stuff finished. I could go and check how many words my first draft turned out to be, but I'm not gonna. Because nobody really cares about how many words something is. Like, can you actually picture how long a book is if I tell you how many words it is? No, you can't. Nobody can. Word counts don't matter. You can fight me. The next question is, what is your current deadline? I also don't really do deadlines, not until I get like traditionally published and have people like actually chomping at the bit for my next book. My goal is, my hopeful goal, it's not set in stone, is to be able to publish Dragonfly around the same time as I publish Wolf and the Hawk this year, so around September, October, that range. Will I succeed at it? There are so many variables in self-publishing that there's really no way to tell if I'll actually make it to that goal, but we're gonna try. Question four is, what is your current writing music slash song? Don't ask me why, actually, I do know why. I've been listening to the soundtrack for The Greatest Showman, and the reason is, I cut out a couple of songs that I don't like, but if I just listen to the soundtrack, it lasts about a half an hour. So if I just go until the music ends, then I have used up my half hour of writing time on my lunch break. And so it's a great, like, it's music playing to keep my ears happy, but also I'm so familiar with it that it's not something I get distracted by, even though it does have lyrics, which usually isn't a thing. But the biggest thing is that the timing is perfect. Honestly, I've kind of leaned away from curating playlists and having the perfect music for every scene. Bitch, ain't nobody got time for that anymore. Question five, what is your current writing snack? I have never, nor do I now, snack while I write. I just don't do it. I don't like to get my fingers like all gross with like chip dust or anything and then put it on my keyboard. It's just not a happy feeling for me. Maybe if somebody could do like feed me snacks directly into my face hole, I would snack and write at the same time, but I don't like getting it on my hands. Question six, what is your current problem struggle hurdle? Uh, uh. Worry is my current, not hurdle, like it's not slowing me down, but it's the ever-present concern that when I get done with the first draft, it's just gonna all suck. Because I'm a pantser, and so first draft is the, the first thing I've written, really. And I take notes as I go, so I can keep track of what I've decided on. I've got a whole notebook. Hang on, I'll get it. I usually get a new notebook for every book that I write, but this is kind of gonna be my series Bible for right now. And it does have a compass on it, kind of fitting with the theme of the current book, which is more nautical. So I write down, like if I name a village, I quick get this out and I write it down in here, like village called blah, or I make a new character, I quick jot down a description of them, but I don't plan anything beforehand. So there's always that niggling fear when you're drafting that you're going to finish and you're going to look back at it and it's going to be unsalvageable garbage. That the book that you have written is somehow the worst thing ever and there's no way to save it. And I imagine people who plot even still have that fear. And if you're going down to the comments to be like, well then you should plot your books, like, no, that's not how I write, so you might as well just stop. I've been doing this for a really long time. <laughs> Question seven, who is your current favorite character? I'm torn. There's two characters who I really love, and <laughs> neither of them are the main character. There is Kaina, who is the main character, Marin's mentor character. So Marin goes to the seaside city of Vale, and she is apprenticed to Kaina, who is the horse master there 
also something else too, there's stuff going on, but Kaina is a fucking force of nature and I absolutely love her. She is just such a strong individual and she'll kick your ass and she will not date you <laughs> because she's arrow ace and I just, I love her. But also I was thinking the other day how much I love Tully who didn't even really start out to be a character and I, I am gonna have to go back in and put a little bit more of her toward the beginning of the book. Tully just appeared and, and became a friend for Marin, but she's not just a friend character. Tully is loyal and sweet but also thoughtful and determined and she gets shit done and I really honestly love Tully and I hope when readers find her that they will also love her as much as I do. The next question is question eight. I'm done holding up fingers, whatever. I'm almost to the end and I'm bored of holding up fingers. Question eight is what draft are you working on? And as I previously mentioned, we are working on draft numero uno. And nine, what are your current number of works in progress? Only one. I work on one book at a time. Sometimes I take little breaks and write a short story or something, or a quick little fanfic or something, but I have learned through experience that when I tr when I try to write multiple books, it doesn't work. I have to do one at a time. I have to be strict with myself. If I have ideas for other books, I jot them down in a word program and I can come back to them later. But if I'm gonna finish a book, I have to work on one at a time. I am envious of people who can work on multiple books at a time. Like, your mojo, it's wonderful, but it is not my mojo. So there you go, that was this tag talking all about my current work in progress. I'm just trying to keep you guys hyped, because if I can keep up the hype, you'll be like, hopefully, maybe excited to read it someday when it's available. Yes, I am still working, that yes, it's still the plan going forward, we are writing this book, so. Because when you're a writer and you're just doing your own thing, people who are interested in your work just kind of feel like they're just sitting there, they don't know what you're doing, and they're like, is the book still coming? Are you still working on it? Have you gotten bored and started working on something else? So I find it helpful to do videos that kind of just remind you, hey, I'm still, I'm still working on this thing. So thanks for coming along on this ride with me. I might even tag some people. Whoa, snap. So look in the doobly-doo as well for the people I will tag. See if your name's down there, and if your name is not down there and you want it to be, just let me know. Or just do this tag. Just fucking steal it. That's how you do tags in this day and age. You don't wait to be tagged. You just steal a tag and run with it. Thanks so much for watching today, guys. Don't forget that I post new videos twice weekly at the very least. Or you can also check out my Patreon, which has a backlog of videos never seen here on the regular channel, so that's exciting. Including ones all about my work in progress, where I'm at currently, that kind of thing. As well as super random stuff like cute ferrets. Don't forget that you can follow me on all my social media linked in the doobly-doo. There's like 8 million links down there, so go have fun. Have a link. Party. And I will see you again next time with whatever it is I happen to be doing next time. Bye! Well, the weather here in Wisconsin is nice and cold, but here on the channel, the patrons keep us warm. And those patrons are Patrick, Anne Sophie, Callison, Ray, Artemis, Shelby, Zaire, Jesper, Irene, Scribbling Cat, Savvy, Jenny, Amanda, Lisa, and Lennox. Huge shout out to all those faithful, loyal patrons. And if you want to be a member of this awesome club, you can join us by supporting me over on Patreon. I am the writer, writer of fictions. I am the heart that you call home. And I've written pages upon pages trying to rid you from my